Hello, welcome to Star Wars Spell to Out. I'm your host, Josh Chapman, and today we're doing another video. Um, the big box from the Netherlands arrived. Here it is. Some people thought it wouldn't turn up. Some people who remain nameless, who know who they are. Oh, they haven't opened it yet, so he might still be vindicated. So we'll see. Uh, it's very hot and windy here today in Melbourne. So if you hear wind buzzing around, that's just what's going on, everybody. That's just the weather today. So this is what we've got. I'm going to go through this and sort of show what we've got. And thanks to everybody who's been watching the video. Like, the numbers went up which is cool um it's just a rinky dink little star wars thing not really expecting huge numbers but it's just nice when more people look at it from the last one so we'll see feel free to what is it like share comment subscribe all that stuff all those things i don't know how many more of these there'll be but we'll try and do some other stuff if i stay motivated and people say they like it so this is the box that came from the netherlands from an online store or i think it's a physical store and an online store i'll have to double check that that just had some very very good prices even compared to shipping um including shipping exchange rate euro stuff so if you do a big enough order um as long as it's inside what it's supposed to be um it was a pretty good deal so i think i can i can say the name of the company now because i've got everything i wanted so anybody else can pick off the rest of their stuff uh boons art in the netherlands boons art so google them and they've got some very very good deals on stuff so let me see if I can figure out how to get this thing open. I've got some scissors. There we go. So it was quite good I didn't get slugged with any extra import taxes or something, which sometimes can happen depending if you buy from overseas. But I did. I thought I'd sort of done it all legitimately across the thing. Uh, the question is, if it is just a box of sand, do I put the video up still? <laughs> if there's no video, maybe it's deleted forever if there's nothing in here. But why would you bother sending it if it's not what it's supposed to be that's why i don't get why would you why would you go to all that trouble of even sending a box over if you're not going to put in what you said you're going to put in so ah, there we go now how am i going to do this now i've got the secondary camera on at the moment so i'm just going to put that there it is oh there's daddy pig waiting so you can see what's going on there okay i'm just going to pull these out there's a whole bunch of random stuff that's come in so I'm just going to pull these out as it comes. I, like I said, I haven't seen it. It looks like there's something in here, so that's a good sign. Wrapping paper. They're taking the care to wrap the sand properly. Box of sand is a bit of a get this joke for anybody in Australia who gets that reference. I know a friend of the show, Catherine, would get that. All right, look. Looks like stuff. Doesn't look like box of sand. Looks like real things, Matthew Mole. That's right, I'm talking to you. Let's see... How we're going here and what we've actually got. I might start with some of the loose ones and work my way up to some of the bigger stuff. Because the whole idea of ordering from here was that some of the more expensive last 17 stuff was really good price. Um, again, I'm not going directly into prices, but some of it was half, close to half of what I'd seen on some of the seller sites here. Um, I know people pay, everyone's pretty good. The seller sites here, I didn't, I've done a couple of orders through. Australian vintage collectors and they've been great and they've been good prices and I've got what I wanted when I wanted but these ones were pretty much half so I did it um, I was happy to do it but again there's a lot more frigging around it is a lot easier to do within your own country believe me but when I was doing a big order like this to fill some big gaps you know there's a little that's the thing I can Bruins art a little card thank you for your purchase by all means check them out I'll try and put a if I remember, I'll put a link in the video or something. So let's go. That's weird. I got an empty bag next to another bag. Thanks for the empty. Thanks for the spare bag. Actually, I might use that. And so I need a place to put them. I can move them to there. So hey, you know what? Not crazy. Get to the figures. Everyone's screaming. Yes, I will get to the figures. They're all in little plastic things, so I will just keep them there. Because um, I won't take them out, just loose. But we've got a squid face. Whoops. There he is. Whoop. Oh, gosh, where is it? There. Still in his... He's got his cloak as well. No weapon, but he does have his cloak. So pretty good. He's in very good nick, actually. Again, these are 
common ones that I didn't pay very much money for at all. I think they worked out to mostly being under $10 Australian a figure, um, even with exchange rates. That's pretty bloody good. So we'll move Daddy Pig out of the way. You can go over there, Daddy Pig. And we'll just pop him down there. If, sorry if there's a bit of glare. That's just the way it goes. So we've got a Weequay. Pretty stando guy. Again, good, pretty good nick. No real blemishes. A little bit of blemish on the hand. Who cares? We'll put him there. Very good. Just going to burn through these. Ah, classic. The general herself. Princess Leia in Hoth gear. No weapons again. Assume nothing has weapons. Um, I don't think she had anything else with her. I don't think she had a cloak or, any, or anything like that. I think that's just how she came. I do like this individual bagging thing. This is very nice. Put Leia up there. There you go, Leia. This one I kind of wish I had a cloak for because he does look a little bit sad when he doesn't have a cloak, um, which is probably the same as the Obi one as well, but sand person. No cloak, no gaffy stick. This one's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but again, he was cheap, 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 cheap. Um, yeah, maybe I might, if I can find a cheap, loose one one day, maybe he'd be nice if he was in a little cloak, because they do look a little bit nicer when they've got the, the, the cloak on there. So we'll just move those, move layer on there. He can sit there, you can have a look. Again, sorry that the, you might not be quite as clear as it normally would be if the, if the, um, the bags went on there, but oh my gosh, there's lots here. I better burn through these because people are just going to lose interest pretty quickly. Rebel Soldier, Hoth Rebel Soldier. Now there's two of these, I think. There's a mustache one and a non-mustache one, and there's one that looks just like Luke Hoth, and I always get them confused. But again, he's in good nick, barely anywhere, no issues with him. Who's the smart one now, Matt? Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, he's got the teeth as well. Even bonus. Lando Calrissian. Again, probably a nice one to have a cloak. I think the cloak's pretty hard to come, pretty easy to come by. Sorry, I think he's a pretty common figure, Lando. If I really wanted a cloak, he's got a little wear on the back. He's got a little. Someone's drawn a bit of pen there on his back. You know, whatever. He's gonna be facing forward anyway. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. This was a good order just to get a lot of those things. Oh, he's actually better than I thought it was going to be. I thought this one was going to be a little bit yellow, but he's looking all right, which is the snow trooper. He's looking pretty white. Don't really care as long as he's not completely off color. He looks pretty good. We'll pop him down. Bit of a hoth, bit of an Empire Strikes Back theme going on here at the moment. Not intentionally. I'm just pulling him out as I'm pulling him out. But as I pull out again, a classic, when you're talking about Empire Strikes Back, you talk about Luke Skywalker in Bespin garb. I had a friend of mine across the road had him. I always wanted him. I think with a yellow stick lightsaber, is that what he usually comes with? I wouldn't mind getting one of those one day. I'll have a look for that. He's looking pretty good. Brown hair. I think there might be a variant with different color hair. Mm, doesn't matter. This is a very big Empire Strikes Back heavy um, lot here. I'm sure a friend of the show, Matt Frost, would be happy. He loves that. Uh, here we go. Now, here's one that I did get that did have a trench coat because how could you not? And I don't think it was that much more. He's a pretty common figure, but it, General Han Solo in his trench coat. One of the ones that we had as a kid. I don't know what happened to him. I really assumed that he was still at mum and dad's. And I did have a little hunt the other day. And I couldn't find him. I got a couple and I'll do. I've got a little order coming soon with a couple of figures nothing too spectacular but and i got a couple f loose from my parents place as well where did i put those i'll have to figure it out but i might do a little video with just those ones but there's not much but han's there and pop him there in fact we might as well just roll on now i think this is luke i think this is hoth luke because it's got the little wavy on the head the little scarf on the head because there's a, a rebel soldier one that doesn't have it, or that it's very, that's how you basically tell them apart. One's Luke, one's just a random dude. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's him. Lots of Empire Strikes Back stuff again. He's got a little bit of marks on his butt, but he's looking fine. He'll be good to display. Let's move some of these over. Pop Luke down there. There you go, Luke. 
This is, I did get a lot here, actually. <laughs> now that I've just gone through it. Aha. Uh -huh. Move him around. Oh, hammerhead. I've taken the courtesy of turning his head on its side so it doesn't get blocked. He's looking pretty good, actually. No wear, no marks. He's actually quite a nice looking figure. Just a diff bit different to the mold. Just the shapes are quite nice. Put him down there. Who else have we got down here? Gosh, there's still a lot. I'm trying to go a bit faster. I'm, I'm conscious that these things just drag on too long. Ah. Princess Leia in bush disguise. Again, no helmet. I think pretty common figure. Pretty easy to get those things loose. Probably be able to go to a convention or a celebration or something and there'll be some dude just selling random stuff and I should be able to get a helmet for her if I really, really want. This one's got a little bit of wear on the head, but fine. No issues. Oops, there's the door again. Like I said, it's very windy today. Keep it rolling. Uh, Got this this fellow. Oh, he's looking a little bit. I think this was probably the cheapest one I got. I think this one was like two euros or something. And it's just Lobot. We don't need to go too crazy for Lobot. He's got a bit of wear on the back of his head as well. But he's, you know, he's just got to stand there and not do much. Pretty much true to type. How dare you? He saved the day. I know. A lot of Empire Strikes Back. I think I've just cleared the Empire Strikes Back stuff here. So I'll pop him there. Uh, we'll put another well, a couple of also runs here. I'll run the also runs. This guy's the epitome of the also ran. Prune face himself, no cloak. Probably a pretty easy cloak to get should you want it. Got a figure for being in the background. A couple of shots. He's actually at the celebration scene at the end on Endor at the, at the Ewok party. If you look very closely, especially on the Blu-ray or the 4Ks, he's there partying down. So. Definitely contributed. We'll move those over there. So don't give me no prune face hot takes. Like I just did. Again, talking about hot takes. Might as well just continue that with uh, Crix Maydean. I think we established in the last video that I have already got a Crix Maydean. Again, he was a very, very cheap purchase. I think he was like one or two euros, two or three euros maybe. You know, everyone's going to end up with a few excess Maydeans. That's just the way it was. He was the king of the peg warmers back in the mid-80s, kids. If you don't remember the mid-80s or you weren't there when it was the last gasp, this guy was everywhere. I think you can still get him on card for pretty cheap if you really want to. And there's a couple of heavy hitters, Crix Maydean and, and Prune Face. But uh, let's keep going through here. There's a few left. Ah, here we go. Now you're talking. Luke Skywalker in X-Wing. Why well, I always wanted one of these. He's in very good nick. I think I paid a little bit extra for this one. He does. He is a little bit more. He's in good condition. There's no. He's got a tiny bit of rub. Tiny bit of rub on the helmet. Sorry, I should actually hold it up while I'm talking to it. On the helmet there, but he's in very. I think all he comes with is the blaster. Anyway, does he come with a lightsaber? I don't think so. Maybe just a blaster. But anyway, very nice. He'll be standing near the front of the of the collection somewhere. I love that figure. I love the whole X-wing pilot outfit stuff. We've got a... Oh, he's got a bit of bad nose rub on him, but who cares? It's a Imperial Commander. Is it the Adat Driver Commander? Is it General Veers, technically? Captain Veers? General Veers, Captain Veers. He's got a big old nose rub there. Look at that. Oh, that's okay. He'll be standing at the back somewhere. Again, he was just a tick off. Just to get those, those numbers after you get the big bulk lot that I got at the start. Just to fill in those base up, this was a very, very good way to get a lot of stuff for, don't get me wrong, a lot of money, but comparatively not as much money as it would have been. Go through. There he is. There he is. He's looking good. You want those eyes to be, those three eyes to be looking in good condition. He's looking good in condition. I don't think he comes with a cloak or anything. I'm sure there was some sort of standard weapon that they put in somewhere but you can sit there and then we've got a oh i think chief chirper i think i think i think i don't think this is a rare ewok i think this is a stando ewok he's got his hat that's all i cared about bow and stuff superfluous really want to just make sure they got the hats so i've still got a couple of ewoks to go a couple of rare ewoks to go which is uh 
you know, always a bit of a worry cost wise. But, and then finally, at least in this bag, because there's a few extras, is a, whoo, look at his hands. He's pretty, he's pretty rough, actually. I should have taken that one from Matt Mole. He did offer me this figure and I didn't take it because I was, I had this one coming, but it's Han Solo. Best pin Han Solo. Look at that hand. That's a little bit rough, but doesn't matter. Again, he was cheap, 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 cheap. He'll be fine. You just got to stand there. I'm just looking. I'll be just looking over there at the thing shelf behind me where they're all sitting and uh, feeling very smug with myself that I actually did it. It doesn't matter if he's going. So that's all the standard stuff. And then there's a few, whatever these things are in, wrapped in weird. There's a couple of, I'm not sure why these are wrapped the way that they are, which is like this, but they've come in little protecty things because I guess they're somewhat more special. Um, can I just get, where's the scissors gone? Where did I put the scissors? Oh, here they are. I'm just going to cut this bit of tape that's holding them together. Again, these are in pretty protective things. So I'm hopefully be able to see them a bit, but these are the sort of, the ones that I got for a very, very good price are a lot cheaper. Like I said, probably close to half to anything I saw in Australia. So I kind of I bit the bullet and did that. And then if you're gonna do a big order, you might as well bulk out all the other things that you need to try and make it worth it. So I did that. Oh, he's got a little, tiny little nose rub, but that's okay. He's got to stand. So a last 17 A-wing pilot. Can you see that? There he is. No blaster, just a loose one. Like I said, he's got a little bit of nosy rub on there, but Aside from that, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I'll put him there. I'm not going to keep them in this. I'll take they like an all display properly in their spots. And then on the other side, two of this character, though we've had a few double of characters. I've been a few Lukes and a few Hans and stuff, but the General Calrissian, General Lando flying the Millennium Falcon, blowing up the Death Star, flying out Yahooin. Landau Calrissian, no cape, which seems a little cruel. Both my Landos have no capes. That seems very off character. Um, but there he is, in good nick and cheap, like the budgie, as they say. And now these two, these are like, I don't even remember what I got. I honestly don't remember what these ones are. And why are they wrapped up like this? What did I... I have to check the thing. I mean, this is the mystery. The mystery and the mystery is I've honestly have forgotten... I remember that the I got the A-Wing pilot and the Lando, and I've completely forgotten who, what these are. They must be something decent. Whoops, if I've gone to all the if they've gone to the trouble of wrapping them up like this. Or maybe this is where the sand is, Matt. Maybe this is where the box of sand comes in. I'm gonna open it up and they're like, well, you thought you got all your order, sucker. But you didn't. Not for the last bit. Um, what can I do with that plastic? I'll stick it there. So it's in a little paper towel this is like a look at this it's like a little paper towel i could use this to get the fat off my frying pan after i'm done oh that's right i forgot about it. yes okay that interesting that's in that packet maybe that's so it doesn't wobble around in the slightly bigger packet but it's a barada i mean, there must be the other last 17s that i've got in here there he is he's actually very in very good nick his paint's good no weapon again, but another last 17 in there. Again, I'm assuming this other one here is a last 17 as well. Let's pop the him there. He can just stay in the bag. I'm not going to put him back in the little container. And then one more in here. What is this? I don't think it's because it's any more precious than the others. I think it's literally because the little boxes that they had were bigger and so they don't rattle around in transit. So I don't think it's sort of like, it's the most precious and holy of all of them. So you must keep them more careful. Let's get this tape off. I've got to say Boone's Art, you know, A plus packing stuff as well. I haven't had an issue with any packing stuff. I think when you buy from professional stores or other collectors who take this stuff reasonably seriously, they're not just going to chuck it in a pad in a like loose bag and, and post it to you. It's, um, that's not really how it goes. People tend to, Show a bit of care, which because obviously that's what you would want if you were getting something back the other way. And wrapping up, it's oh yeah, of course. Oh look at him, he's really smiling. It's a Force Ghost Anakin Skywalker, who's supposed to be 
like 44 or something in this photo or 42 aged terribly being Darth Vader has aged you terribly is it Sebastian Shaw I think we ever really established how old he was supposed to be until the prequels anyway but he's supposed to be like old, younger than me no offense like I'm not aging amazingly well got definitely gone gray but I think I'm looking a little bit better than he was although on the other side Hayden Christensen is aging way better than I am and we're probably the same age and I've seen Hayden Christensen up close while I've walked right past him at Disneyland. Haha, -ha, there's another dig for you, Matt. This video has become all about you for some reason. Um, after I wouldn't let you talk to him at Disneyland to, to bother him uh, during just before Celebration Anaheim. So there it is. There's a Force Ghost Anakin Skywalker. And that's it of that lot. So very happy. Everything turned up in one piece. It's all here. It's a mega lot. Um, can we sort of get a look there? Sort of of everything that's... Let's see. You can probably see my disorganized desk with all my stuff everywhere. Um, oop. I'll just pop that back there. This is a little bit of a... So that's it for that. Thanks, everybody. Uh, feel free to leave a like and do all that. Like, share, subscribe, all that thing that the kids say. Got another order coming. I think it's only three figures, though. And I found a couple of things that my parents placed. And I think that's it that's coming. A couple of people said that they might have some other figures for me. There is one more big, big order I'm considering doing from a different store online. Maybe we'll see. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, and we'll see you soon.